so with every field construction project in ghana we blame politicians either the mpp or the ndc and in some cases rightfully so but what if i told you there are bigger corporates involved who more or less are never blamed because the political minds are busy pointing fingers at each other but on this channel our politically unbiased point of view enable us to see right through the curtains and see things for what they truly are looking closely these culprits are the contract winners in some cases construction companies who are sometimes the major players incentivizing the system and causing ghana to lose millions of cities without receiving a single blame to their name how so you might ask stick to this video to the end as i break down this peculiar situation and point out the obvious also before we begin i would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to this channel for more content let's get right into it from the bumps in the road to the asphalt setup being completely swept off the roads to intentional delays in completion of projects and lack of serious work ethics the contract winners have found a way to be totally immune from any blame when it comes to issues regarding displeasure after they shabbily complete or fail to complete a project in some cases contracts are awarded to people who know nothing about construction with just vibes and connections to account for, position themselves in a manner which is incomprehensible in a way, since work of this nature shouldn't be mixed with nepotism. In March of 2019, the Ministry of Work and Housing warned that the government would not hesitate to blacklist any contractor who fails to adequately deliver when awarding a contract. So the question is, how then do these individuals or corporations still win the contract in the first place? A case study is with the construction of the Lekma Road project. Three contracts were awarded before the road was completed. The first ended in litigation, so we are not delving into that. But the second contract awarded failed to show any progress and negligible efforts were made, leading to them being fired and the contract being awarded to the third. And it's quite shocking how often these occur. In Ahonjo, the road which links five different constituencies had its contract awarded in the year 2000 and not until two decades which is 20 years had passed was the project completed some projects were stalled due to payment arrears being demanded which is valid in some instances but in most cases the contract winners either had no idea what they were doing or they blatantly executed shoddy works in a nation where shoddy work is hated by all, it's quite surprising how some construction companies are removed from the equation of blame and no accountability is held when the completed work takes no time to get damaged and potholes start emerging almost immediately. In Tetegu in the Wejagbawe municipality, an asphalt road project constructed in 2020 took little to no time before signs of cracks started to emerge and some part of the road went back to what it was before the project. In May of this year, 2022, the floods came down hard in Accra and exposed the somewhat shoddy roadworks which are carried out in Pramprom in Accra. The entire asphalt aggregate mix was swept off the road and all what was said was a warning to the populace to stop throwing garbage in gutters which is a valid caution because it's crazy for people to do that in this modern age but that's beside the point given that the obvious problem at hand where the road was shabbily put together should have been addressed and accountability should have been demanded looking at this asphalt core drilled from a roadway in the united states the difference is staggering with the thickness and the lower parts being denser before the actual surface is seen having a finer mix preventing cracks by making it impermeable to water 
meaning water cannot pass through there are bad roads in all parts of the world but in our case it is very severe there are a lot of civil engineers and other engineering graduates groomed day by day in various universities across ghana who graduate to join the unemployment system in the country learning the strength of materials and whatnot never has there been a program to develop or work on structural materials or ingenious ways to build a better and stronger road system brilliant final year thesis are forgotten but contracts are awarded to foreign contractors whilst we continue the charade of being self-reliant and trying to empower the brilliant minds in the country just by saying this one would say university graduates what do they know which is a normal stereotype in this country so why then do we have a school system and not just go out and be apprentices under these corporations who do shoddy work still if that's the case that's just food for thought and appropriate accountability must be demanded if you agree or have opposing views let me know in the comment section below all opinions are respected here if you like this content be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of these also check out this video next where five of the biggest road construction projects were carried out from very very bad roads to more presentable versions of themselves thank you and on to the next video be sure to check this video out